Welcome my dear students so today we are going to start with a prayer lesson think before you speak and here we are going to solve all the question answers of this lesson so just start first with the meanings that is counsel advised guided affirmative an affirmative answer is the answer yes veracity truth transmitters here it means person who spreads something in this case untruth okay let us here it is answer the following question was this really trying to give a scientific reason no this really wasn't trying to give a scientific reason he just wanted to draw our attention to the fact that human psychology also suggests that we should speak less and listen more okay Next is was he only trying to give a message in a light-hearted but effective way? Yes, he was only trying to give a message in a light-hearted but effective way. Complete the following. Our ears are like funnel because they are open all the time and there is no door with which you can close them. Next is the two rows of the teeth are like a fences because if you wish to speak your words have two pearls through them. The two lips are like fences because because a word is spoken it has to pass through it. Next, harsh words are like scattered bits of paper carried away by the wind because once you have spoken them aloud it is very difficult to take them. Back. Next is do as directed. Let us take out it. Make two sentences of your own with each of the words given below using the same word as a noun in one and as a verb in another. Means one word we have to use as a noun and as a verb. Let us take out the sentence. First one is change. Picnics are a welcome change from a daily routine. This is a noun sentence. Change the way you think. This is a verb sentence. Okay. The next one is if you will see both we have to change. It. Next is the word show. The students put up a grand musical show. This is a noun sentence. You need not show me your tickets. It's a verb sentence. Okay. Next is throw. That was an easy throw. Noun sentence. You must throw garbage in the trash can. It's a verb sentence. Okay. Here we are doing the action of throwing. Next is return. She promised to take me for a movie on her return from the market. It's a noun sentence. Please return my book as I need to complete it. It's a verb sentence. Okay. The fifth one is benefit. I advise you for your own benefit. It's a noun sentence. Children benefit from parents' advice. It's a verb. Okay, next one. Personal response question. Do you remember someone else speaking to you angrily without thinking? What do you do on that occasion? Did you also speak angrily? And the answer you can provide your own answers to. Here the answer which provided is, yes, I do remember someone. speaking to me angrily without thinking but i didn't react angrily a week ago a bus conductor spoke angrily to me without thinking as i handed over to him a 50 rupees note i didn't have a smaller denomination the ticket cost only 10 so he was upset and started shouting i knew that it was my mistake as i should have bought 10 besides i also realized that it was early morning so even he couldn't help and his anger was justified empathizing with him and also accepting my mistake i kept quiet i apologized and asked him to give me later when he got the same from other passenger my behavior cooled him down later he too apologized next discuss what you can do to control anger i used to get angry at the drop of a hat i have controlled my anger to a large extent some of the technique i have adopted are positive self talk and taking a walk when angry 
I distance myself physically from the point of disturbance and start to count 1 to 100 backwards. I refrain from speaking when angry as it is. Only aggravates the emotion. Besides this, something that really works wonder is deep breathing. Next is, have you ever passed on an empty remark or vain statement that might hurt someone? What can you do to avoid it again? And the answer could be, yes, I have passed a vain statement about a classmate's dressing sense only to realize later that she came from a poor financial background. I was lucky she didn't hear it or else she would have been hurt. From that day I decided not to pass such remark because most of the time we do not know absolute truth. Write a brief summary of the story of a young man and a spiritual teacher making the young man the narrator. You may begin as given below. I went quickly to my spiritual teacher for advice because I had so from here we have to continue answer would be I went quickly to my spiritual teacher for advice because I had heard and insulted my dear friend unkind and harsh word when I asked him for the solution he gave me a fresh sheet of blank paper and a pen and instructed me that to write down on that paper all the harsh things i had told my friend i obeyed he then asked me to tear it into as many bits as i could and threw the bits out of the window the tiny bits scattered far and wide in no time but to my surprise he then asked me to collect as many bits as possible i ran to collect but in vain i couldn't get hold of even a single bit of paper I returned all exhausted. He then revealed to me that spoken words are like those bits of paper, easy to scatter but difficult to take back. And so that day I learned that I should think before I speak anything to anyone. Next is you have learned about adaptation in your science textbook. Find the biological reason why men's ears and mouth have developed the way they are. now so the answer could be human beings like most animals developed with bilateral symmetry meaning that early on in our development our cells split into two groups effectively cutting us in half to create a mirror image of the right to left the evolutionary benefits of having two ears are as follows having an ear on each side of the head makes it easier for us to determine where the sound is coming from it increases the range of hearing from 180 to 360 degree the sound becomes more balanced and even sounds more natural two ears offer a cushion because the sounds get divided between two noises enabling the ears to tolerate loud noises okay next continue with it we have only one mouth because the mouth is an opening into the digestive system a very long tube that passes through the body it contains the stomach and intestine having two mouth will means having two digestive system this will take up twice the space in the body that what it takes now with no extra benefit so with this i hope you understood the benefit of mouth and two ears hope you like my video children please do like share and subscribe to my channel